and we were, we were able to come away with a win, and it was a big one for us. Here's the opening kickoff. Tennessee won the toss and took the second half option. And they were penalized there, and we got the ball in good field position to start the game. Uh, we're not able to do anything with it. Tennessee's defense was um, vastly superior to what it had been. Their scheme was excellent, the kind of thing that has been giving us problems. And as I said, as the game wore on, we were able to grind them down and get something going enough to win the football game. So Chris Moore punt, and they um, come up with the football and begin their first drive. And there's Reggie Cobb, their great running back. Spencer Hammond made the tackle there. Quarterback Francis is a great quarterback. He, he's uh, over a 60% career passer, and uh, we really want to mix our coverages. Here's Kermit Kendrick with a great interception as they tested us deep early. The defense was consistently excellent all day long, with the possible exception of the final drive when the game was pretty much out of reach. This is John Ward with Daryl Dickey to send you the action as Tennessee kicks off to start the game and the volunteer defense shoves Alabama back. So punting from the end zone, this will be Moore sending the punt upfield and under the ball it will be Woods. Thomas Woods for Tennessee breaking to the 40. This is Thomas Woods returning the first punt downfield, but he's caught and dropped at the 20-yard line. But the penalties, Coach Johnny Majors mentioned, here's another one right here. The flag flies and Tennessee will be penalized 15 yards for clipping on the return. Francis is Tennessee's quarterback. Cobb, the tailback. And this is Reggie Cobb moving the ball for a gain of right at 12 yards to the 47-yard line of the Volunteers. Davis Gilbert Hammond defending for Alabama up front. Pass complete. Catch made this time on the far side by Harper for a gain of six. So it's third down two at the 45-yard line of Alabama. Nothing to nothing the score first quarter. Cobb tries the right side, and he is stopped for no gain by Gilbert. So it's fourth down and two, and in the punt is Andy Kelly. Punt coming downfield, and it is down by Zacchino. Well, really nice play by Nick on this right here. Andy Kelly did a fine job all game of getting this in the opportunity to put the ball inside the 10 yards. Still nine yards to go. Nothing, nothing to score. Pitch to Hill. Through the left side, he is... Pull down by Ernest Fields. There is a penalty marker down on this play. Fields making the tackle, but Tennessee is going to sustain a 15-yard penalty for a personal foul. And so instead of fourth and five, it's first down and ten tied at the 24-yard line. Smith to throw. Long pass downfield is complete. That's Richardson on the catch, and he moves all the way down to the Tennessee 15-yard line, a 61-yard pass and run. Well, great concentration on the catch right here. You'll see play action pass. Smith rolls a little bit to the right, pulls up, left-handed thrower, throws it back across his body. Safety a little bit out of position, but Jeremy Lincoln reacts back just, just about gets his hand on it. Great concentration on the catch by Alabama receiver. Lincoln might have possibly just touched the ball, but it was great concentration by Richardson, and it's first down 10, the tide at the volunteer 15-yard line. David Smith, the left-hander, getting a start after being injured and missing uh, since the opening game, completes this one downfield to battle for a gain of seven yards. And the give on the misdirection to Wayne Shaw, and the Tullahoma senior scores for Alabama. Well, they fake the pitch right here and hand it off to the fullback underneath, cuts back against the grain, and finds it easy sailing into the end zone. So Alabama goes 97 yards in six plays, and the Tide takes the lead as the extra point is up and good by Doyle, and it's 7 to nothing in favor of Alabama in the first quarter. Alabama kicks off. Tennessee has returned the ball upfield. It's going to be third down and nine yards to go for the Volunteers at the 45-yard line as the pass downfield is incomplete. It was intended this time for Harper. 7-0 Alabama leading. First quarter. Here comes Keith DeLong on a blitz, and he makes the stop. Well, one of Keith's many outstanding plays of the ball game. That's Middlebrook shifting back to actually a wing back. Francis to throw, pass downfield is intercepted. That's Mangum with the ball. Mangum down the far sideline, breaks three there, carries the ball on into the end zone for the touchdown. The receiver falls down and Mangum makes the interception. Well, really unfortunate for our offense. As many times as these two players have executed this one play, 
This one time Thomas happens to fall down the, the defensive back makes a good break on the ball and is able to get up the sidelines for the touchdown. As the second quarter gets underway and the Volunteers after picking up one uh, running for five yards on the first play at second down and five and this time the handoff goes to Tony Thompson who's in there at the tailback position for Tennessee. He's thrown for a loss by Wyatt and so it'll be third down and seven at the Volunteer 36 yard line. Francis for Tennessee. Dumps the pass complete. That's Mark Adams at the 50. Adams racing downfield all the way to the 35-yard line of Alabama. What a nice play by Mark Adams, particularly on this play. As the ball's with Francis at quarterback, the blocking five, Simons, Davis, Fisher, still Stewart. Francis loops the pass downfield. It is complete. That's Thomas Woods over the shoulder catch for a gain of 25 yards. On this particular play, they have bump and run coverage on the top of the screen. Thomas fakes to the inside, runs up the sideline. Jeff's able to lay the ball in just over the outside shoulder and is able to get it inbound. And so Tennessee has moved quickly for the first down at the tied 10-yard line. Handoff goes to Cobb. Cobb trying to sweep the right side of the line. Dumped by Gilbert for a loss of a yard. At the 11-yard line, it's second down. As the pass is thrown, touchdown, big orange to Thomas Woods. John, same case as it was a few minutes ago. They got bump and run coverage the right hand side, fakes the inside, turns up uh, up the outside. Jeff again lays the ball just in over the outside, and Thomas is able to catch it for the touchdown. The score now goes to 14 to 7. Here's a heads up play by David Smith again to Marco Battle. That's a 14 yard gain. Murray Hill, as we continue to pound away at him. We are a tough, sweet team. That's a four-yard gain. Excellent throw and catch here. David Smith to Howard Cross. As Pierre Gould matures, we are working to find more ways to get the ball in his hands. And uh, this is a little counterplay that we've worked in previous, actually ran it some last year. Murray Hill up the middle for four yards. All the way to the Tennessee 20-yard line. Here's Alabama with the reverse, and here's Tennessee waiting for it as Denson is there to make the tackle on Good. So here is Doyle in to attempt the field goal. It's up, and it is blocked. It's blocked by Lincoln. Tennessee's Warren scoops it up, tries to break free, picks up some yardage, is then ridden down. So the field goal is blocked by Tennessee. Well, great play by Jeremy Lincoln. Got a great jump to come in and blocks it with his upfield hands, how far across the ball he was. Second down, ten at the 44. 14 to 7 the score. Reggie Cobb, right side, cuts up field for a gain on the play of eight yards, and it will be third down and two, now at the Alabama 48-yard line. Tennessee with excellent field position throughout the first half of this football game. Cobb again, nothing there at all, as making the stop will be Cole and Shepard. There is no gain, and so on fourth down, here is Andy Kelly once more to punt. Downfield it sails under the ball, asking for and making a fair catch at the one-yard line is Hill. Our punt returners are instructed to stand with their heels on the 10-yard line, and if the ball goes over their head, they ought to let it go. And in this case, Murray made a critical error, which bottles us up again deep in our own territory. William Kent ran it out to the five, but that's as far as we could go with it. Here's a 56-yard punt by Chris Moore, who continues to give us Good work for the most part. That's a nine-yard return. Here, Cobb is thrown for a loss by Tommy Cole, who had another outstanding day, and we make them punt the ball back to us again. Once again, we're bottled up deep in our territory as they get excellent coverage, and we're coming off the five. Excellent play by Vince Sutton here. Good present on the naked bootleg. And Alabama 14, Tennessee 7 at the tied 22-yard line. Sutton. Pass is incomplete intended for Hill. Had it for a moment, then lost possession. And so on fourth and nine, here will be Moore to punt for Alabama. The punt is blocked. There's Preston Warren blocking, and it goes careening through the end zone for the safety before Tennessee, with four players covering, can get there. Great job by Preston Warren, but John, again, our luck unable to get the ball to bounce right for us in this game and we're fortunate that it ends up being a safety. So we had a terrible quarter in the second quarter. Big play there by Derek Thomas. Got the ball out of 
the hands of Francis, the quarterback. And another phenomenal 54-yard punt that rolls dead. Actually, it's down at our four-yard line is the way the half ends. So we go in with Tennessee having the momentum at the half and the score 14 to 9. Tennessee receives the kickoff to begin the third period. And after the touchback, it'll be Tennessee first down and 10 to go at the 20-yard line. Jeff Francis is at quarterback again, throwing the ball upfield. It's complete for the first down to Thomas Woods. And so Tennessee will have it first down and 10 to go. Woods coming into the game, tied with Harper in reception for the year, each with 19. Francis again to throw, looks the other way, and here's Harper making the catch on this one for the gain of nine yards. And for Tennessee, it'll be second down a yard to go at the 40-yard line. Reggie Cobb for Tennessee, twisting forward. And he has a first down on the play. So Tennessee first down and 10 to go as Francis again, audibling at the line of scrimmage, drops back to throw. Long pass downfield for Thomas Woods is intercepted by Mangrum. Mangum makes the interception. Earlier he intercepted one and brought it back for a touchdown. Exactly right. This time he fakes the outside, fakes the inside and goes to the outside. Jeff expects the receiver to go outside. He comes inside. The quarterback is David Smith for the tide. Smith. Pass is complete. This time it's received by Stewart. A gain of seven yards and it's DeLong again on that tackle. Third down three. Alabama at its 35. Tennessee with a blitz. The pass downfield is complete. Then fumble recovered by Tennessee. Big hit by Preston Warren on this play right here. Smith drops back, finds the tight end, crosses across the middle, puts the ball to him, but look at the break. Preston Warren has on him to knock the ball loose right there. Tennessee trails 14 to nine, battling against the Crimson Tide in Knoxville. Francis, incomplete, intended for Cleveland, broken up by Mangum, leading 14 to nine. They shift into the I formation, Tennessee with four down linemen, and back to throw Smith. Pass is intercepted. That's DeLong with the interception for Tennessee, returning it to the 13 yard line. Great play by Keith DeLong on this one. Reggie Cobb, sophomore running back from Knoxville. Tries the left side and is bumped down for no gain. Cole at the bottom of the stack. So with Tennessee trailing 14-9, here's Chip McCallum to attempt a 23-yard field goal, cutting it to a two-point game. There you see the kick is up, and it is good. I really thought that that was the biggest series of the game, keeping them out of the end zone at that point. We continue to have very poor field position. We tried some things, some reverses, to try to shift the momentum and get some misdirection. But Tennessee was up to the task and was able to stop us on all of them uh, in, the, in the third quarter. Here's Keith Davis off the left side again on a second and one. And Keith McKent is in there for a three-yard loss. So in third and four, again, Tennessee having taken excellent field position, they cannot convert and make the first down. So we get the ball back. Always, always deep in our territory, inside the 10-yard line. Very determined running by Murray Hill there, but not enough for a first down. And the, the game just rocked back and forth with constant pressure on our defense. Spencer Hammond on the tackle for a one-yard gain. Here on second and nine. They do make some yardage here, but again, gang tackling. Forcing them to try to go for the first down. Always forcing them to fight for anything that they get. They did make the first down there. They're at our 40-yard line now. The defense stiffens. And here on the pitch to Cobb, he's not able to hang on, and we get a break. So we're going into the fourth quarter to score 14 to 12. We're back at the beginning of the fourth quarter now, and Tennessee once again with excellent field position on our 45-yard line, third and 15. This time we drop eight defenders and Francis is not able to find anybody open, and so we get the football back. And again, we're starting to block a little better now, starting to wear them down. Our conditioning is starting to pay. We almost broke that, and Murray loses his footing. David Smith getting stronger as the game progresses. Excellent execution of the screen here. And by the way, David's knee held up fine after the twist in the early part of the game. He came back to play well. 
So we're beginning to move the ball. And we're able to pump them down into poor field position. And here Charles Gardner, our freshman defensive back. Excellent coverage. It's first down and 10, and Smith is in at quarterback for Alabama. First and 10 for the Tide. Tennessee's defense dancing back to throw Smith. Pumps downfield. The pass is complete. This time it's the tight end cross who makes the reception for a gain of 17 yards, the 30-yard line, where it's going to be for Alabama second down, about five yards to go. This time it's to the left side, carrying the ball for a first down, and a big one it is, by Murray Hill. Second down, 10 up to 24. Back to the I formation. Pitch goes to Kent, big room up the middle, and he roams forward for a gain on the play of 11 yards and a key first down for the Crimson Tide. The Tide shifts to the eye. Tennessee four down lineman. Fake pitch back to throw. It is incomplete, but there's the penalty marker, and once more, a penalty is going to cost Tennessee. This time, it's pass interference against the Volunteers' Preston Warren, and so it's first down goal, Alabama, at the two-yard line. Carrying the ball will be Kent. There is Keith DeLong for the Volunteers. Well, again, Alabama feels the presence of Keith DeLong. And so it's going to be third down goal, Alabama. Castile fakes the handoff to Good on the fake reverse, carries the ball, breaks one tackle, a second tackle, into the end zone, touchdown, Crimson Tide. Well, it's a really fine effort by this guy, by Castile on this play. Uh, they, say, they say it's a busted play, but who, who knows at this point? Marion Hobby has a chance to bring him down right here, just can't quite do it. Now Tennessee with the ball back again. Always dangerous with their great passing game, and they're still trying to run the ball, which is understandable with Reggie Cobb being the ball carrier that he is. Here on third and three, once again, Keith McKent, a great play able to keep them from making the first down. They had to go for it on fourth down, and they were able to convert for the first down. So now they're down at our 27-yard line, and Willie Wright comes up with one of the plays of the day as he sacks Francis. Now we force the field goal attempt from 48 yards, and it's no good. So we're back with decent field position here. Really, one of the few times in the game we were able to start out with field position and we run the counter play to Pierre Good for a seven-yard game. Here again, good block in there by Terrell Chapman. Off the right side for seven yards. Second down nine at the 45-yard line. Pitch goes to Murray Hill at the corner. Gets free, cuts back, breaks open, and this is Murray Hill at 5-7. Turning on the speed, he goes all the way for an Alabama touchdown. 55 yards for Murray Hill. Really nice run by Murray Hill on this. It's the pitch to the left-hand side of your screen. He strings it out, finds him a seam right here, sticks through it, runs through a tackle, cuts back to the inside, and shows some speed as he sprints on down into the end zone. 1.38 to go in the football game, but Tennessee battling the clock and the tide, and Francis at quarterback drops to throw. Across the middle, it's complete. Roland Poles makes the catch and moves for a first down. Well, of course, Alabama in a prevent defense in the final minutes of the game playing real deep. Jeff drops back, finds that they are playing real deep, so drops it to rolling underneath just to get some extra yards. And so Tennessee on a 12-yard pickup. Francis again to throw. Again, it's Poles. Again, complete. Poles this time picks up five yards before Osment makes the tackle. And it's second and five. The Volunteers battling. It's been a tight struggle all game long as the long pass downfield to Von Reeves is incomplete as the freshman tight end is hit by Shepard and so Tennessee will have it third down. Jeff Francis, senior from Mount Pleasant, Illinois, will run with the football this time and dies for the first down on the 15-yard gain at the tied 40-yard line. Tennessee has it first down and send to go. Lining up without the huddle, back to throw Francis. Waiting, looking, here's the pass downfield, complete! What a grab by Thomas Woods, and it will be a first down for the Volunteers. 29-yard gain on that pass play from Francis to Woods. At the 11-yard line, there's the law pass in zone, give it to him. Touchdown for Alvin Harper, 11-yard score. Nice catch by Alvin on this one. Again, the bump and run, Jeff drops back, three-step drop, tries to get it over the outside shoulder. Ball slightly under throw, but Alvin's able to come up with it for the touchdown. For the touchdown to make the final score 
as they make the two-point play, 28 to 20, which is the way it ended. So an excellent fourth quarter performance, even though once again we put ourselves in difficult circumstances, the team had the courage and had the desire and executed well enough to win a tough football game. We'll hear from the players as Jack Flick speaks to them in the locker room. 